Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the AIFF E Studio Live. My name is Lokman U Chaturvedi, your host and an E National Team player as well. And today we have a very special stream, as we always do on the AIFF E Studio Live, where we come with you with the best FIFA esports news, some great matches, and of course, special guests on the show like we do today. So it, it's going to be a fantastic stream today. I'm always excited for this. Last time we had a very special stream with other esports athletes, but today we have a feature of the Mumbai City FC uh, national team player and, of course, the e-national team player, both representing the same club. So this is going to be really, really exciting. I cannot wait for this. So quickly, uh, basically giving you a flow of how the events are going to be. We're going to be inviting both the national team players and uh, we're going to be moving forward with them playing a couple of matches together. And, of course, I will be playing a match with... Uh, Sid, of course, after that. So it's going to be a very exciting stream. But let me give you a brief introduction of the guest that we have today. His name is Vineet Rai. Of course, all the Mumbai City fans must be really excited for this. He's playing for the national team and now on loan with Mumbai City FC from Odisha FC. A brief introduction about this young, talented player, 24 years of age, from Assam. He's a midfielder, of course, for the national team and for Mumbai City FC. And he has had a short stint in the I-League with Punjab FC starting from there. And then he signed for Kerala Blasters in 2016 and has now, he did sign a contract with Orisa FC in 2017 and now is on loan to Mumbai City FC. With the national team, he's played for India Under-23 side, which is, of course, a phenomenal achievement. And I've seen his game so uh, so many times. And trust me, you don't want to miss his next game whenever he plays. And he's represented the senior national team on several occasions, like the World, Qual World Cup qualifiers, the SAF Championship, the Inter Intercontinental Cup, and the international friendlies as well. So he's a coveted player, well-reputed player of the national team. And he will be joining us shortly. Vineet, how are you doing? And as soon as Vineet is here, I'm going to give an introduction of our e-national team as well. It's going to be super exciting. Vineet, welcome to the show. Thank you so much. Thank you. I'm, I'm very happy to be here with you guys. And I'm very excited. I'm looking forward to the game. Yeah, absolutely, Vineet. I mean, it's a pleasure because uh, we've met before uh, in, in person and we've played some FIFA together. So, of course, it's fantastic to have you on the stream once again. I was just talking about uh, about your uh, footballing career. I was just uh, going through your profile and I did not know this when we met before. I'm, I'm, like, I'm surprised as to how you started with your youth career with the Tata Football Academy for four years from 2010 to 14 and then you joined Tempo Sports. Uh, club. These are such household names in the Indian football scene. So, tell me a bit about your uh, your experience coming coming into the national team from starting so young and now now that you're here representing Mumbai City FC in the ISL. Yeah, uh, you know the journey has not been so easy because uh, you have to see so many failures um, while you come along you know, like where I am today. But uh, it needs lots of hard work, dedication, and sacrifices. You know that you have to make. Uh, to be where you want to be in future so yes uh, i was in tfa for four years then uh, i spent there two years as a junior two years as a senior and then uh, we played some friendly matches in goa against uh, salgaukar and that time i got scouted by coach arthur papas and then he signed me in Dempo, and that was my first uh, professional contract of my career and then i went there i spent there for two years in there and then uh, uh, while while I was there, I played for under 23s and under 19s, and then uh, uh, after after that, I I joined a, a, a Kerala Blasters. Kerala Blasters. I I I've stayed there for a season, and then after that, I I joined Minerva Punjab FC. There also, I played for a season, and then uh, I joined Delhi Dynamos, and I I spent there for two years. And after on the third year, it was uh, we shifted the base to Urissa FC, so. It was good, and and now uh, for this season, um, uh, like I, I came here uh, from Orissa FC to Mumbai City FC on, on a loan deal, um, and I'm really very excited, and I'm really very focused to work hard and help the, help my team to win the championship again. Wow, what a career this has been to all the fans, of course. We do have a lot of e-football uh, fans also here who are focused on FIFA, but to know such a great journey of our friend Vineet here in football, I myself know that because I've also played at a certain level and I have seen the sacrifice that football players have to make, but to play at the highest level, 
that uh, you're playing at beneath it's it's such a phenomenal journey however uh it's such a contrast isn't it that uh, the the kind of competition there is in football that is sort of shifting now to e football as well that we are having uh, professional e sports athletes now coming into the scene uh, i myself being a part of the national team uh, i have seen so many players coming up through the ranks now uh, in, in, into the national team now trying to get their spot in so i would like to welcome our uh, fifa e sports athlete playing for the national team and for mumbai city e sports Sir so Chandrana, welcome to the stream. Great to be here, guys. Uh, and first of all, it's a privilege to be playing with Vineet. He's played for the national team. He's captain the national team as well. So, and he has just signed for Mumbai City FC on loan. So it's an honor to be playing with Vineet, and so delighted to be back on the E Football Studio. Yeah, that's fantastic, Sid. So now I was just talking to Vineet about how the uh, contrast is with the hard work that you have to put in the national team. However, to the, the fact that we started with no domestic league earlier, no under 17s, under 16s in FIFA, and now we just suddenly got the opportunity now to sit, in fact, with the national team player and play FIFA with him. That we're going to be doing right now. So for for myself, for Sid. uh for charanjot for vignesh all these players in the national team at the moment it's uh it's it's such an honor vineet so um now let's start like this is the exciting part the questions uh for vineet i'm pretty sure he's waiting for the game uh but yeah. before that happens i'm just going to ask you a couple of questions to you and to sid both so you've just joined mumbai city fc right now and how does it feel to represent mcfc in the isl such a huge club with such a massive fan base and with so much of spotlight on you now how does it feel and what are your plans like what are you going to do now uh, first of all you know uh, i want to thank uh, like uh, my agent and my mumbai city uh, management and odisha fc management that uh, whatever uh, I, to make this happen and i'm very grateful uh, to be here and i'm very very excited as i said before you know to be here and to share the uh, room with the uh, uh champions to share the same pitch with champions and to share same lifestyle with the last year you know champions then it's it's i feel always very grateful for this you know and i'm that's why i'm very um, extra motivated and extra focused you know i'm i'm i i'm very ready to work hard and i as i said before you know in every training session in every match whenever i step i'm i'm always ready to give my all best so that i can help the team to uh, defend their seal uh again this year and to be the champion that's fantastic isn't it to represent the champions of the ISL uh and to be able to like play at the best at such a young age you're still 24 right so i'm a year older than you that that feels a bit <laughs> that feels a bit weird to be honest uh but none of the less it's it's fantastic uh to to have you Vineet once again but now coming on to Sid uh you both both of you are from Mumbai City FC and Sid you recently signed a contract with Mumbai City Esports now coming new to the scene so it's football and FIFA coming together at the Mumbai City dugout how does that feel man i it's, it's a special feeling you know especially uh with the fact that i have been born and brought up in mumbai so mumbai will always be special to me you know it's like home city so the emotions you know it's so special for me to sign for my home club and you know it's just it's a great feeling and to share the same room with vineet and all the professional footballers it's a great feeling no absolutely considering mumbai city is your home so obviously it's it's such a special feeling for you but now coming back to you vineet uh AFF is part of the FIFA E Nation series. Um uh, this is the highest level competition in FIFA esports when it comes to international level right now for us and we have a domestic qualifying tournament uh, to select the FIFA athletes to the to the FIFA national team which is running today and tomorrow. We'll have a stream regarding that. So what are your thoughts on FIFA esports and its growing nature in India? Yeah, first of all uh I, um like i said before i used to play a lot and i spent uh, so much of money in game you know to buy some packs you know in fifa to buy some uh, good packs when i was in kerala and all i used to play ultimate team i always uh, used to see uh, other countries uh, e esports player and i used to imagine like uh, why uh, i used to think like by myself uh, why there is nothing like this in india 
you know i used to see then then pubg came up and all and then this uh, e start um, e games and all everything started the streaming and all then slowly i'm and i'm very happy you know to see uh, <clears throat> football growing so much in india and now um, I'm, i'm like it's a great initiative taken by aiff and reliance foundation you know to bring this eisl championship in our country and gives our uh, the talented uh, e esports players to to show their talent in the big stage and it's a great initiative you know then that was i always used to think but it's finally here so now it's for you guys to show like uh, the talent of yours and be the best in country and be the best in the world you know fantastic like i'm absolutely thrilled by the knowledge that you have about the ultimate team and you buying packs and all, all of that thrill that you had and of course you knowing about the eisl as well that's really fantastic vinay thank you uh, coming to sid and after this of course we'll be playing i don't want the viewers to wait i know vinit is gearing up to um beat uh, beat sid really soon because i no, know no, this no. is something inside to the viewers i've played against vinit a couple of years ago i think vinit it was 2019 if i'm not wrong bro and yeah. uh, you played so well against me you gave me a really tough time so i'm pretty sure you can replicate that against sid as well and uh, there's a question that i'll be asking you right after you score a goal uh, that's that's a very interesting question so let's let's wait for that but sid uh, coming to you now we've discussed this earlier uh, but in front of vinit also now that we've spoken about vinit's career a bit take us through a bit of your fifa journey how has it been uh, and you know how did you come up through the ranks and now you're part of the national team yeah you know i've always been a football fan uh, the traditional sport of football i have been a massive arsenal fan all my life and i actually started my journey as a footballer but unfortunately you know that didn't work out for me and you know it's the love for the game that got me into playing fifa and i think it was 2007 when i had my first fifa and i used to play casually after school i used to bunk school all the time you know and just play fifa but i think 2017 is when we had these tournaments and you know these international tournaments that came into picture and and came into limelight in our country and that's when i you know started to attend these tournaments and in 2017 i attended my first international tournament in singapore and just uh, right after that event uh, i signed for m10 esports which is owned by ms rosen so that was very special for me as an arsenal fan i spent two years at m10 absolutely incredible club uh, a year later i signed for footballist which is also owned by Nuri Sahin who is a Turkish footballer but i spent a year with them and you know we've spent so much of time playing fifa even when india wasn't eligible in the global series so we could play ultimate team but we couldn't play or participate in the tournaments only because of the fact that india was not eligible and you know there was nothing we could do but last season is when uh, india became eligible to play in the official fifa global series and last season was our first official season uh, and you know that's how it all started i have recently signed for mumbai city fc esports is their first year in esports and you know with city football group being involved as well so it's extremely special for me and just hope to have a great season fantastic isn't it both our national team players e national team and national team players having such uh, decorated cvs like starting really young with vinith of course coming through the ranks and said also playing for a very uh, like a couple of reputed orgs in 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 the, in the scene as well and now both of them coming together at mumbai city fc so without wasting any more time let's start i can see the excitement on vinith's face <laughs> and on sid's face just to start the game asap uh, for me to like stop talking and you guys going into the game asap so let's see if both both the players are ready because this is going to be a fantastic thing even though i would love to join in as uh, as the third player but unfortunately you need another person for that um uh, i'm just going to watch you guys play uh now that i know vinith has spent a lot of fifa points and he plays ultimate team i'm extremely nervous to be honest uh but <laughs> <laughs> because you no, were just for seven day yeah so just to let all the viewers know that uh, you'll be seeing a 90 overall rated uh, game obviously both the players will be taking mumbai city fc their 
uh, their clubs. And this is going to be a 90 overall rated mode. That means all the players will be capped at 90 overall rating. So there is no player which is lesser than 90 or higher than 90, which is a fantastic thing because you can use your favorite Mumbai City players in, in the tournament, uh, in, in the friendly, sorry. And you will have the best of the best stats in there. So some controller settings being done by, I don't know who this is. Is this Sid? Or is this Vineet? Some interesting tactics going to be going on. But while both the players are setting up to actually give a fight, uh, I'm just going to talk about the AIFF eFootball Challenge, which is running right now for the January qualifier. To all the new viewers, this is the national qualifying tournament uh, to select the next Indian e-national team. And uh, there were four qualifiers running starting from December. And it was December, sorry, November, November, December, January, and February. We've concluded two of them. And the January one is running at the moment. If you haven't registered, you can go and register on FIFA.gg. And that will be the last qualifier you can play and have a chance of representing India at the highest level, which is, of course, the biggest honor for any FIFA player. And we'll have a stream tomorrow with the top four players competing in the semi-finals and finals, which is going to be super exciting. And uh, yeah, we've all been there competing football and FIFA. So that's competing is the best feeling ever. I can see you need to reaction, man. We need go easy on me. No. I think, <laughs> I think, uh, I, I think, uh, I, I think Vineet is all good. He's, uh, he's, those, can, he's can, that can, silent assassin. Can I let him change the camera? Or yeah, sure, sure. Yeah, just take that a pause and change it. So, uh, while you guys play, now that you guys have paused, while you guys are playing, I'm going to be asking some questions to the both of you. So, I hope you don't get too much lost in the game <laughs> and uh, think that there's a third person also in the stream. Don't forget about me. Uh, we'll be asking some questions to Vineet and Sid, both of you. So, while you focus and try and win, I'm going to be asking some questions on the site. I hope that works with you, Vineet. Yeah, cool. I'm ready. Perfect. Absolutely love the attitude of Vineet. What a brilliant individual. All right. So, it's starting very soon, though. But, Vineet, uh, I'll start with you, though. As soon as the game is I starting, I'm going to ask you this question. One second. I didn't check my controller. You need to change your controller settings? Maybe, yes, because... You guys should <laughs> probably... No problem, no problem. No, 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 it's fine, it's fine. Let me... Oh, okay. Perfect. So... Uh, it was custom made. Oh. <laughs> no problem. It was not... They were not sprinting. No problem, no problem. Let's continue. I have one more match. <laughs> <laughs> it's just been three That's minutes. Right. You have the whole game right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Forget about the next I one. think we should play fair, Vineet. Should I just give you an own goal? No, yeah, no, no, I no, I, it's fine. No, I, I think we should play Vineet. No, I'm, I'm the judge yeah. here because I can't do anything yeah, else. Yeah, Lo Lokman, you're the referee. <laughs> we need to play I, fair. You need to so, play fair. So, Sid is going to let you score now. Just to let all the viewers know, Vineet is playing in the black kit of the away kit of Mumbai. And Sid is playing in the home kit. So, Vineet is now going to score a goal right now just to even the score. And both of them are going to start. Uh... He had the open goal in front of him, but he still passed. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you know, that's that's when you know Vineet has been playing FIFA for a long time. Exactly. All of us do that, tend to score that sweaty goal indeed. Uh, but Vineet, now that you guys are starting the game, uh, I'm going to shoot a real quick question to you. Uh, now, with you know, with a top-tier club like Mumbai City FC setting up in their own esports team, with Sid, of course, being a part of it, uh, and you participating in global tournaments like the FIFA E Club World Cup. How relevant do you think it is in popularizing the game and bringing more Indian fans towards football? Is it uh, the question is for me? Yes, yes, that's for you. Uh, <laughs> I'm not. This is what I thought is going to happen. <laughs> this is something that I thought would happen. So I'm just going to probably like take it a bit easy with those questions. Don't worry. Oh my God. How is he in person? How is Jao in person? 
Oh, he's very good, man. Is is Vineet in there? Is he playing? No, no, I don't think so. These are not updated scores because these are not updated scores. Overall, I understood. Would have been fun to see him though. Wow. Well, it's fantastic to see Mumbai City also in the chat. Uh, see, Sid trying his level best to <laughs> sweat as much as possible. And you guys should see Vineet's face. To be honest, he is absolutely focused in the game. <laughs> I knew it. This man wants to win at any costs. He's not going to let up. Vineet has just done a fake throw. And I don't know what to say <laughs> at the moment. <laughs> wow. Fuck. I... That's a good save there. Ah, uh, what a save! So probably, probably the game footage is a bit delayed for me. So I'm probably gonna have to assume from the reactions you guys are giving who scored. Okay, driven cross as well. I see you, Vineet. I can see you. <laughs> I'm a bit. My hands are a bit rusty. <laughs> <laughs> uh, typical first game. Yeah. Vineet, to be do you honest, play foot times usually. Yeah, I I was in division one. Oh my god! Wow. But uh, but the thing is, uh, I me and RCB shared uh, this thing. What is called right. uh, the playing? Uh, so we, the he PSN? plays sometime. I play sometime. From the player switching of Vineet Sid, can you make out this guy plays a oh lot? Oh my god! I mean, look at that. What a ball! Let me, let me. What a goal! Why is why is the footage a bit delayed for me? I'm not able to see the live reaction of Vineet. Maybe you're not that lucky to see my gameplay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm oh, sorry, man. Vito Kumari. This guy is a savage. Huh? <laughs> oh, fantastic! Uh, I hate. Game. I don't like skillers in FIFA. Oh. Too I much of. Oh, when I get a chance to play football with Vinay, I'm gonna get a two-footed tackle, man. I'm sorry, Vinay. <laughs> oh my God! What are you doing, Sid? <laughs> oh! Oh, keeper! Thank you. <laughs> Oof! What a save! Such a close game. Are? Sorry, yeah, I was trying to fake the shot. I am not able to touch the ball, man. Wow. Vineet knows his FIFA set. He knows yeah, it so well. Quite, quite clearly. Come on, Bipin Bhai. <laughs> <laughs> Vineet, if you pass that, that would have been true. Only if it was Vineet who would have passed the ball. <laughs> oh, what a ball! What a goal! So, uh, Vineet, we have a question for you. How yes. was the feeling of captaining an ISL side at such a young age? Uh, it's it's a great responsibility to take, you know, and and I I like it gives you extra bit of boost of confidence, you know, when you have that armband in your uh, like in your hand, and like you, you you and you should set an example, you know, it's an like uh, that kind of uh, responsibility that you have to set example for all your teammates by showing like. Putting that those effort, those uh, hard work, you know, 
on the pitch. Sorry, I, my answers are a bit this thing because I'm. <laughs> I stopped <laughs> asking questions <laughs> of my own. Oh, Angulo, that that could have been an Angulo special. So that question was from Shobham Jadhav, by the way. He's also a professional FIFA player, and he is in fact representing oh, Odisha FC. Oh, so good question from Shobham. Thank you so much for asking that. Wow. All right. This... Both of them are just so into the game right now. <laughs> half time. Uh, good half, that. That was good half. Good half, guys. Good half. Good half. Great to watch. We need fantastic man. You, you, you. Honestly, if you play three, four more games, you'll end up beating Sid. Hundred percent. No. <laughs> yeah, this is this is his uh, first game. No. You know, he's rusty, but I fear the worst in my second game. No, no, you guys are a lot better, yeah. You guys. Okay, so we need. This is a question for you. Uh, yes. Easy questions I'm gonna ask during the game. Okay, don't worry. I'm not yes. gonna ask you difficult questions. I know you want to focus. Which is your okay. favorite skill in the game? I know you said you don't like skillers. <laughs> Probably this question. <laughs> My favorite question answer. might backfire. <laughs> right question. Wrong question, but anyway, I'm just gonna ask. Which is your favorite skill in the game? The, uh, the fake shot. The fake shot, yeah, that's that's pretty realistic. Unlike Sid, who uh, tries to you know exploit all sorts of weird skills that are not possible in real life. Ah, oh. he's pressing, he's pressing. This is quite the game. Oh, sorry. That's... Sid, when you get the chance, just take a pause and increase the stadium ambience a bit so that we can sure, sure. we can have a feeling of. Bipin. Oh. Oh. Oh, <laughs> oh man, that was close. What is it doing? I mean, if I try to do that in real life, we need is just gonna <laughs> get a two foot tackle on my legs. This, but how how you guys made it ninety completely? So there's like a 90, mode in the game. It's 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 a mode in the game. Like all players are ninety overall rated, so you can enjoy the best uh -huh. of the best uh, stats for your favorite clubs. Great pressing there by Vineet. I think that's what, that's what he carries yeah. from his uh, real football knowledge into FIFA. Great effort, that. That was well worked. Fall, Captain Fantastic. Oh, so I I think maybe maybe Sid can talk us uh, through about something, because I think Sid is sort of used to this. I'm gonna yeah. let me need focus in the game. So Sid, tell me oh, a man. bit about uh, tell me a bit about the Indian clubs now that they're part of the FIFA 22 this year with the ISL coming in and of course the EISL also coming in. How big is this for football in India? Do you do you think the FIFA base that usually people play for fun when they see uh, an ISL club in, in, in the game, do you think that's going to create more opportunities for football in India? Do you think that's a good way of connecting the fans in real life as well? Uh, quite definitely, you know, because when you look at the player base we have in India. I mean, the amount of guys that just play FIFA for fun, it's, it's, it's I mean, there's no specific number to that, but it's, it's absolutely huge with the population we have and you know, the, the amount of guys that just play with their friends to chill and, you know, it's a game that 
bring so many people and so many friends together so it's, it's a great way to connect with people and i think that's something that brings all of us together so the addition of indian clubs i mean it's it's great for the whole uh, community the fifa community and football community in india because you know it's it's just going to go up hill from here and you know just so glad to see eisl being involved as well because it's something we've always dreamt of and the fact that we have an official national league it's, it's so great to see and you know quite unfortunate unfortunate that i won't be playing the eisl this year but just hope to be there next year no absolutely i mean of course being a part of the mumbai city team you're going to go a long way with the eisl as well but uh, vineet um quick question for you i know you want to focus yeah. but a lot of people have been saying uh, especially shubham the person who asked you the question he said vineet as the third player for mumbai city esports <laughs> so uh, now now a question a for you that's a joke no 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 <laughs> i'm coming to the question now you have to answer this honestly okay like keep keep your uh, hand on your heart and answer this no uh, no lies if you could become a professional football a professional fifa player alongside yeah. being a professional yeah. footballer that you are right now would you consider consider that situation with the best of both worlds or would you yes. rather just continue to play for fun um <laughs> i'd love to play also i spent love to play i i spent well. money in pubg also <laughs> <laughs> oh my god <laughs> pubg uh, mobile legends oh my god uh, this guy likes to be competitive man it's not easy yeah i was just going to say that i'm sure there's a competitive personality in vineet so that you know he has to think twice about asking uh, uh, answering that question and i think uh, we've got that answer fantastic Oh my god. Said why would you do that? You're green timing shots. I mean it's it's muscle memory now and I'm sure Vineet will start timing yeah. these very soon. You'll you'll start seeing the muscle memory of Vineet when you play football with him in real life. <laughs> when that two foot oh, attack and elbow, on you. And elbow on my face. That's the muscle memory <laughs> we no, need to no. see. Yeah, no I think Still, I think it's a great match. It's five-three. We need you can make a comeback. You still have one more leg, and the way you're playing, you can certainly. Uh, uh, he's too so... good in dribbling. <laughs> <laughs> But honestly, we need like how much you know, time? You know, you know the 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 moment the best. I hate the moment when uh, in ultimate team the guy is winning and the, he start keeping the position. <laughs> From seventy-fifth minute, that's the <laughs> most embarrassing moment, and I also do sometimes. Uh, that's quite honest. I mean, have you ever broken any controllers, Vineet? Because I, I yes, think I've yes. broken. When, when, of... when I was in Dempo that time, but now I'm more sensible <laughs> and more mature enough that I know the a controller costs you five thousand. So it's it's better to hit, you know, keep your anger calm and save your money. <laughs> One of us, you know, because I've broken ten controllers myself, Vineet. Bro, seriously, and this the. That is so embarrassing, like irritating you know, at that time. Frustrating it is when when you want score. to score that goal and then the guy starts keeping the ball from 75th minute. And when they score a rebound, they start celebrating with the shorts and stuff. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah. That's so frustrating, you know. <laughs> oh my god! He has the fight in him, man. Best oh, part was when when he said, "When I realized the controller is for five thousand." <laughs> When I was kid, that time I, I couldn't realize, but now I can. I I, I realize that the controller now PS5 is more expensive. The controller oh, and everything. PS5. No, but talking about time. broken, talking about broken controllers. Uh, tell me this, Vineet. Who is your favorite team in FIFA 22, and who is your favorite player, the one that you enjoy most playing with in My Ultimate Team? Favorite. Uh, I love De Bruyne. Oh. Mm. Kevin De Bruyne. Wow. Like yeah. uh, in FIFA, but uh, if if my favorite player is in normal real life is uh, Tony Cruz, but uh, in FIFA De Bruyne is insane. His passing and plus if he gets a chance to shoot from outside the box, it's definitely ninety percent chance of goal. Awesome, GGs guys, GGs, good, good first leg. That was so much fun. That but, was so uh, much fun. I think. 
Mbappe is very deadly, no? In, uh, oh, this year, yes. Mbappe. I think Mbappe. this year is the best player in the game. Mbappe. Is Nobody can stop him once he's behind the defenders. Yeah, no, that's true, Vinay. That's absolutely true. But the fact that you said KDB and Cruz, that just shows that uh, you know the hardcore midfielder in you, that the passion that's, that you share of that's... dominating the midfield. <laughs> that's fantastic, really. That's proper ball knowledge, man. Absolutely world class midfielders. Exactly, and that that's what we see from Vinith as well, to be honest. But Vinith, I have I I do have a very important question for you because now that you are outside the game, this is something yes. I want all the people uh, who are watching the stream uh, to to know about it. That um, professional footballers who are interested in FIFA always wonder how it's like to be a part of the game as a player, like you being in the game, right? Did it feel special when you were included in the game as an ISL player? Like, yes. what was the feeling? Yes, obviously, because when there was when there was no edition like this, I used to create my own player in um, <laughs> in career mode, and I used to play. <laughs> That's the best thing. <laughs> uh, uh, I mean, he's one of us, man. This guy, Absolutely he's one of incredible. us. Hundred percent. And I used to. Uh, I used to play manager mode and all. Uh, it, uh, it so was did you fun. ever buy Messi and Ronaldo to play with you as a career mode? I, I used to, yes, yes. But uh, when I when I started playing Ultimate Team to have money, I I once to get one player. I think I tried to get Ronaldo, but I tried I sell all the players from my team <laughs> except the bronze and silver cards, you know. <laughs> but I but that still I couldn't buy Ronaldo. Because uh, it's he was too expensive. I wanna show you my ultimate team after this, Vineet. I sure. just bought '96 Prime R9 for my ultimate team. Oh, the legend, the legend card. The icon, icon R9. The icon R9. Yeah. I mean, the the kind of money people have these oh, days now. I mean, we need like, I, but, we but, can't but, do that. <laughs> but some players uh, like I I find in uh, White Foot Champions or something. They come with very good cars, but they they don't they are, they don't play that good. Yeah, <laughs> I, yeah. But that that's, time I feel like, but, but that time that time I get the feeling. Please give me that team and take my team. Let me play this team. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is fantastic, really. Hey, we guys are okay. Already started with the second level. Let's go. All right. Here's my question to you, Vineet. Who is yes. your favorite, uh, like, like your best friend in in the Mumbai City team, and the best player according to you? Um, there is nothing like that. The best friend for me at the moment, uh, but uh, I I know uh, Rainier and all from uh, okay. from this start. Uh, Rainier, Amai, Rahul, Bai, and all, and the the best player for me. Uh, yeah, I I I love. Like the the way Jahu plays, you know, and he's he plays in the same position as me, so I think I I learned lots of things from me, and I'm really looking forward uh, throughout this season to learn so many things, you know, under him, uh, by seeing him training, by seeing him playing the matches and all. Uh, so I I really want to implement few things from uh, from him so that I can add add those things in my game also, so that it can help my, me also in future. Amazing. I think you're yet to like uh, gel with the whole squad. And, oh like, shit! I tried to switch the ball and yeah, yeah. See, just uh, I I just had three four sessions with the team and I played two games. Uh, I think still uh, I'm, I'm I'm trying my best to add up uh, well in uh, under coach and uh, with the team. So yes, uh, it's it's fun and exciting, you know, to come in the new team and uh, accept the new challenges ahead, you know. And honestly, oh, like what with that being said, with that being said, I'm obviously the one asking questions. But if you guys want to ask some questions to Vineet and Sid, you can use the hashtag Ask Vineet or hashtag Ask Sid. What a goal that is, Sid! Now I'm seeing it. This is a goal, proper goal of Jahu. Yeah, he's how, how, so, how how he scores, so how he scores, in, how he scores in training also. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's a fantastic finish! Wow. 
Vinit, I'm sure you must have scored some goals like your like you know like this as well. In, in real life. The training, sometimes yeah, but not in match. Match, I only score one. Uh, I think that was for Odisha FC, and mm. that was my first professional goal right, uh, for uh, for me in my career. So yeah, it's it's kind of like good good feeling. And now now that we're talking about your first goal and all, like as a national team player for the Indian national team, and of course playing in the highest league in India in ISL, what has been yeah. your favorite footballing moment? Like, would you like to share that with us? Your best moment ever? When I played, uh, when when I played for under twenty threes, you know, for the national team for the first time, I think that was my best moment because uh, before that I never played for uh, national team. I used to go for under thirteen, fourteen, sixteen, seventeen, nineteen, and all. I I don't used to get select, selected, so I always wanted to wear that jersey of my own, you know. So I never used to ask uh, that jersey from anyone that give me a, like this, but. Uh, I I really wanted to wear my own jersey. No, to be honest, uh, that feeling is unreal. I think Sid and I can relate to this. Yeah, when, because yeah, yeah, wearing your national team jersey is 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 different. And that's the best feeling for me uh, when I played for my national team for the first time, and when uh, I was very young at that time. But th- I I will never forget that moment. It's a special yeah, it's, feeling, man. It's such an honor because I remember when Sid and I received the national team jerseys. Both yeah. of us were on work call because and we were so emotional. Everyone dream of playing for their nation, you know. So when you finally get it, so it's it's always special. No, but nothing can replace uh, that from you. Oh, absolutely! I think that still runs. That th- those moments still runs in your blood. Uh, yeah. All the time. You so know, all, the, no matter how many times you play for your country. Uh, even if you are putting that shot for a uh, hundred time, but it's still you still feel like it's just the first time. So it's, it's a different. And whenever you step and whenever you hear that national sound on the pitch, national anthem song for your country, when you are abroad, uh, so those things are always special. Absolutely, indeed. And with that being said, I think we have a question for Sid from Vinayak M Menin. Uh, Sid, the question for you is: Who is your favorite FIFA streamer? <laughs> right, this is interesting. Uh, I think at the moment I love Nick Run the Foot Market. I think he is absolutely incredible with his videos, and I think Nick has to be on top right now. Nick Run the Foot Market, uh, great guy, great FIFA player, great streamer, great entertainer, and I think if you just talk about gameplay. I really admire uh, Tex because some of the things he does on stream, it's, it's joy to watch and it's always you know good to learn. Mm, interesting. So Vinayak, thank you so much for asking that question because these were the names that I was expecting myself, and they're pretty popular. Uh, <laughs> you're kidding me, huh? <laughs> No, I used to follow app uh, text also. Like, yeah, I used to watch his video sometimes. Wow, this guy is certainly one of us. Sid. Like, he is saying everything and everything that like just makes me want to just. Tex, you know. uh, you, uh, he's very young, no? He's very, he yeah. was very young. Uh, I think when I first started uh, watching his videos. Now, I won't be surprised if Vinny takes part in the next uh, FIFA tournament. I mean, the national challenge, and he ends up winning it. Because of the amount of knowledge he has, I mean, it's it's so good to see. Yeah, absolutely. But uh, Vinit, you you've uh, you know spoken to us about you putting in you know like playing Ultimate Team, putting in points there, and you know putting uh, you're playing PUBG also. So yeah. I I really want to know like when you see and meet young passionate uh, football enthusiast or you know actual like professional players and then like top gamers also like a mix of all those people like what is the advice that you usually give them considering the love for the game like obviously talking like, about football not pubg uh, i always say them you know in, uh, that you have to, they always have to work hard that's the most important thing because no matter which profession you are in if you are not working hard so you will never get there so and that's the, and you have to make so many sacrifices you know 
um, you have to you have to be determined and you have to fully dedicate yourself to your game. No matter if you are playing e e i s l or e football or real football like us, you everything needs uh, full of dedication and uh, sacrifices. You know, so the most important thing is like the hard work, the how much work you put in uh, in training and in the uh, in your f- spare time when you are free. So that's the most important thing. As as you guys, as I spoke to you once in Delhi, and you said that you guys have to train like us only uh, two hour, one one and a half, two hours in the uh, morning, two and a half hours in the evening, and like you guys, you said me like um, you guys used to uh, do morning like attacking, and the evening you used to train in the defending. So yeah, it was it's it's it's, it's like all all about hard work, no, and how much work you put in. That's the most important thing. fantastic like again said i'm thrilled that he remembers all of this like this is something we met 2 3 years ago and he remembers how you know how fifa players practice and all but, yeah, but I, really I, now yeah i i still like uh, when i uh, when i used to play with uh, arts arts and all in odisha fc so i used to tell them like about you that i played and all because uh, i knew i know that now you are in a very good level so So I I I I used to tell him that how how you guys train in uh, for this competition and for this uh, this so much of like the 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 level which you guys you are playing is yeah how much hard work you guys need to do morning and evening it's not only playing about game it's it's more than it's more it's just more than a game for you guys. Oh yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's 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 a career, really. It's it's. If 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 you see me, I I I just play as a game, like just for time pass. But for you guys, it's a career, you know. It's a profession. It's it's everything. So. But I'm starting to doubt your answer about you playing casually because you're very competitive. <laughs> I'm not really sure about that. Yeah. No, this is what I'm saying. No, with Mumbai City Esports, with Sid and uh, Saki, like. Uh, two of arguably the best, or uh, one of the best players in India in terms of FIFA. I think yeah. you should be the third player in the uh, in the Mumbai City sports team. I think that's I been never, taken into consideration now. I never thought about all this, but uh, yes, if I'll get opportunity, I will not step back. <laughs> wow, I <laughs> love that. Yeah, I th- I think that's surely going out on the Mumbai City socials for sure. <laughs> <laughs> With what Vinita just said. I, I think it's fantastic, really, to to have such a good team of uh, Sid Sahi and now Vineet. I think probably a team to fear now when it comes well, to FIFA. There's there's Casio as well, Vineet. I don't know if you know, but yeah, Casio plays yeah. FIFA all the time. I I heard on Ultimate Team. And yeah, he, he plays very well as well. So I mean, we have a lot of good FIFA players in the club. Man. It's so good to see. Yeah, that's why. Uh, like, uh, I heard he was the champion of uh, here when they played competition in here. So I, I always want to face him. Like, whenever if uh, oh. it's possible for him to play with me. Uh, so let's see. But I think he's very good because he spent um, lots of time in uh, here. So let's see. Oh, we should definitely have a Mumbai City tournament. We need. Uh, they already did, I think, uh, and see. Uh, oh, they... yeah, we can. We can Guess play over two v two this time. That'd be nice. Yeah. So you, you and Lok, uh, Lokmanu, and maybe me and Casio. No, we can do. I will play with you. Lokmanu will play with Casio. That'd be good balance, you know. Okay, okay. That's good. Now, I, w- I would say, I would say, I would uh, prefer to cast uh, that <laughs> event and probably have uh, Saki because Saki. Uh, right, right. Saki because he's part of the Mumbai City sports team. So you guys. And I'll be, I'll just be the judge that I'm doing right now. <laughs> that would be fun. But I would love to team up with Vinit though because I really enjoyed playing with him uh, when we met in in Delhi. I I still remember I had taken, in fact, Manchester City only, uh, Vinit. If you remember, and yeah, yeah. You had also, I and obviously Real it's Mad- part of this. I I played with Real Madrid, no? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because that time, obviously, Real Madrid was. Invincible was really so good. I remember. I think it was FIFA 19, and uh, because it's part of the City Football Group as well, so I think. Uh, oh wow! Sid is actually doing short cancels and all. My goodness. 
you guys have some serious competition in the mumbai city this thing itself now <laughs> uh playstation yeah. <laughs> yeah playstation yes 100% no sid wouldn't stand a chance in real football don't worry i can assure you that oh, two foot a tackle and he's, and he's <laughs> i mean that's not even a competition to be honest but we we could maybe do a crossbar challenge or something like that because that's the only yeah. fair way for me to you know get involved yeah no but uh we need like now we were talking about so many players playing fifa and like within the mumbai sports team and obviously within your mumbai city fc um fifa is played by millions of people in the world right and yeah. do, you, do you think it's become a significant part of our lives uh that even like at least for the hardcore football fans at least in some point of time in their lives they have played fifa with their friends or family or uh i don't know played a tournament or something do you think it has influenced us so much that we just want to play fifa sometime or the other sorry i was between uh, <laughs> scoring goal can you remember the question celebration man what can to you, finish can you repeat the question please no i'm just saying that fifa has become such a significant part of our lives now yeah uh, that everybody has played it at some point in their lives right so yeah. do, do you think like uh, it has had a significant impact on our lives i, I don't think so i've met any football fan who's not interested in fifa yeah obviously because all the football fans loves fifa no so i think and uh, <laughs> what to say like <laughs> i really want to be to be at the moment that's actually a close game going on right now like honestly sid i'm telling you three more games and vinith is beating you every single game 100% no no way bro <laughs> <laughs> he's way too good this has a 98 minute winner written all over it i cannot wait for it this game won't go to extra time if it's too all right sid i don't think so Uh, no. no because it's the online friendly is not i don't think yeah oh. come on we need to score that goal i'm a bit behind i just want to see a goal from you no it was uh, good was just, yeah, i'm i'm very lucky to play with uh, sid and i want to face you like maybe in uh, i will add you in playstation and then we can have a game sometimes definitely so, yeah and i'm very lucky to play with the e national team player and you know it's 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 for me i think it's it's a pride moment for me also because you play for you represent our country so i think it's a it's a pride moment for me also and i hope once you become the uh, world champion i hope you don't forget me <laughs> oh <my God>. so, <laughs> maybe oh, maybe maybe and when you start your youtube channel and when you will cross over so many million followers <laughs> and be like tags and all and if i i hope you still remember me i've yeah, never man. met a more humble guy than vinith me it's me a lot to us and you know just can't wait to see you soon man vinith um so we play fifa a lot more times i just want to wish you guys and all the e e e e fifa players you know all the best for the future yeah because uh, at the end of the day you guys also are representing india no and uh, nation comes first ahead of anything you know, that really means a lot vinith that really means a lot because for you to come on the stream and for you to wish us and play with us it's really an honor to have a national team player and a mumbai city fc footballer to come and join and play fifa with us that's something that we love to do and something you also love to do casually soon changing to be professional <laughs> <laughs> no <laughs> maybe 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 but uh, I, yes i i have to i have to be more good you know i know sir is not playing his 100% i and i i, I can make that out you know but when when if sometimes if sid doesn't know that it's me in the ultimate team opponent <laughs> maybe he scored six and i have to uh, uh, quit the game in uh, 60 50 minute <laughs> no 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 <laughs> sid i think actually sid gave his all and i'm telling you a couple more games and you would have beaten him for sure and i know you're very humble to not accept that but uh, <laughs> trust me but um, we need thank you so much uh, brother for joining us on the stream it was a pleasure i know you your time is super crucial which is why i'm just going to ask you 
uh we we'd love to have you all day long on the stream and i definitely want to make a fifa group for the three of us or four of us to like just play whenever we're free sometime i think that would be fantastic sure sir sure. uh but before before you leave us uh you know just tell me how does it uh, you know how does it feel to be involved with gaming in general and especially when it comes to fifa playing with us today and uh, do you do you really think the fans will support gaming in the coming years as much as they do support you in the national team in like real football and of course uh, with isl do you, do you think that could shift to the gaming and esports side as well yeah obviously i think uh, fans will love it you know and the people all around the india uh, i think there are maybe 60 70% of the nation they play fifa and they know the football is the the number one sports in the world you know and and being isl uh, getting an addition in uh, fifa 22 it's a, it's a huge thing for our nation also and for the isl also you know so and it's it's a great thing for a pl- uh, for players like us you know we 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 all we also can see ourselves in the game and sometimes you know it's just for fun that day uh, we were our friends we were just playing uh, fifa and we played a uh, 5v5 the the futsal and we used to we used to do like uh, I, i i used to say him put me in the goalkeeper or goalkeeper used to play in the striker and we used to <laughs> and 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 if he scores and we used to cheer for each other and we like this so it's it's a fun i think and i think uh when uh, when when india will come uh, compete in the bigger stage uh, in in world sports and all obviously the fans uh, fans are going to support for sure I'm, and i'm i 100% believe that because because no matter you are playing for um, e e football or real football or or cricket or any sports you know where 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 the where there the name of nation is there all the people going to love and support you guys i'm pretty sure about this no oh, that really means a lot uh, we need thank you so much uh, for all your time and all your supporting words i think sid i'm telling you man this has to be the best stream that we've had such a yes, beautiful that, personality loved it uh, thank you so much fun stream and jokes aside i mean it's it's always a privilege to play with someone like vinith and an absolute honor uh, probably the most humble footballer we've ever met you know because he's the nicest guy ever and uh before i let you go very i hope you sign for mumbai city permanently so we can play some more fifa together and just can't sure. wait to see you soon and good luck sure, for nah. you and i'll look forward uh, to learn from you guys some more skills and techniques for sure man. we can do that all day long a great playing with you vinith good luck for thank you, you so games. much i wish i just want to wish you guys and as, as i said before to all the eisl players or, or e fifa players of our country uh, for their bright future ahead all the best to you guys i'll see you soon Thank you so Thanks much, Vinny. Appreciate you coming. Bye, bye. Take Love care. It.